While I love taking the decision making out of Amazon's hands, there are certain things that arbitrations can accomplish and certain things that arbitrations will likely never accomplish. One is getting an order telling Amazon to reinstate your account. It's called non-monetary relief and generally you're going to lose on that issue because the law that applies to the arbitrations is from the state of Washington and that law basically says you cannot compel one commercial entity to do business with another commercial entity. And you as an Amazon seller, you are a commercial entity, even if you're owned as a person, you're a sole proprietorship, it's still one commercial activity with another, and you're not gonna win that. But, but, here's the big but. If Amazon staff over in Hyderabad, Amazon staff in Bangalore or Costa Rica or Ireland, the people that read your plans of action are just totally getting it wrong arbitration may provide you with a route to have somebody else, somebody higher up within Amazon, review your plans of action. And while we're not allowed to discuss any of the cases that we resolve with Amazon amicably once we file for arbitration, I can tell you that it's over 60% of the cases are in fact resolved. So while if you went the whole distance all the way through an arbitration, through the hearing, through the process, you're probably not gonna get an order from an arbitrator telling Amazon, reinstate this account, although we have won it before. The fact that somebody else is going to review the issues, review your prior plans of action, review the demand for arbitration that we write, that alone may result in your account being reinstated amicably. So, by filing for arbitration, if Amazon has clearly made wrong decisions regarding your plans of action, your appeals, your Jeff Bezos escalations, and you want another set of eyes to look at it further up in Amazon's company, arbitration might be the way to go. And if you do that, these are the awesome people you're gonna be working with. Rob Siegel, Ashley DePinto, and myself, and so if Amazon has simply not responded appropriately to your plans of action, arbitration might be a good way for you to go. If you wanna learn more about arbitrations, go to our blog and put in the search term arbitrations, arbitrations against Amazon, and you'll see some of the great successes that we've had for Amazon sellers, and you'll learn just a little bit more of what you need to know to take decision-making out of Amazon's hands.